Hi there, this is Chaplain Rhonda Harkins with Lighthouse Intercessors and Beams of Light. Today I want to bring to you a revelation that I received from the Lord this summer that I know is going to be a huge blessing to your life. It is found in one of my favorite scriptures, and I bet it is one of yours too. It's Ephesians chapter 3, verse 20, and I'm going to read it out of the Amplified Bible. Now to him who is able to carry out his purpose and do super abundantly more than all that we dare ask or think, infinitely beyond our greatest prayers, hopes, or dreams, according to his power that is at work within us. Don't you love that? I just love that scripture. And listen, this is what the Holy Spirit quickened to me this summer. I know that when I received Yeshua, Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior, He came to live on the inside of me. And that's what He did when, he, when you received Him. He came to live on the inside of you. And it says in Colossians that Jesus Christ in us is the hope of glory. Hope is something we can't see, but that we know. I know that I am headed to be with my Father in heaven, whom I belong to through His Son, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit that dwells within me. I'm going to whom I belong to when I leave this body here on this earth. I pray that is true for you too. But beloved, not only does the Lord Jesus Christ dwell in me, not only does His Holy Spirit dwell in me, empower me, and help me to overcome and give me grace day by day to do His will, but the hope of His glory is within me and within you. The glory of the Lord. And let me tell you about that glory in Habakkuk 2.14. There are three places in Scripture that our Father it's almost like he's swearing, like you know in a courtroom when you lay your hand on the Bible and you swear to tell the truth and nothing but the truth, so help you God. Well, this is just similar what God does. He, he says three different times, and one of them is in Habakkuk 2.14. But the time is coming when the earth shall be filled with the knowledge of the glory of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. Can you imagine? I, I want you to know any sea I've been to, I've been to the Mediterranean Sea, I've been to the uh, Sea of Galilee, and uh, I'm sure I've been to some other seas, but Seas and oceans are different, but regardless, they're covered with what? Water. You don't even have a sea without water. So when the Lord says this, He's saying, hey, the knowledge of my glory is going to cover the earth like the waters cover the sea with the tides going in and out and you know you know the water is there if the waters were not there it would not be a sea any longer i want you to know the knowledge of the glory of the lord is also in you beloved he is wanting you to allow his glory to come out Remember when Moses spent time on the mountain, Mount Sinai, and God gave him those Ten Commandments? He came down from that mountain with his face totally aglow with the glory of the Lord. And everyone saw it, saw the glory of the Lord. Now we have that same glory, beloved, in us, through the Lord Jesus Christ and the power of His Spirit, and the Lord wants it to come out of us every day, the glory of the Lord, so that the knowledge of the glory 
would be spread around wherever we go and if every Christian who has the hope of his glory were to do that you talk about covering the earth with the knowledge of what that glory is what that glory means the glory produces miracles the glory brings joy unspeakable the glory brings his presence into the here and now that's why that verse says super abundantly beyond all we could ask all we could think all we could pray all we could dream because the glory is working its way bubbling out of us that beautiful glory of god that presence of the living one the almighty one is coming out within us and we are sharing his presence his love his beautiful uh grace and peace and all that he is his magnificence is coming out and that glory changes people it changes the atmosphere it changes the room that you're walking in it brings a whole new dimension called the God dimension that is working its way out of you as you surrender to him moment by moment till your light just shines your beams of light like that lighthouse like this cross it's beaming because it's in you beloved the death the resurrection of Christ is in you and it's coming out and that's why God says three different times in the old covenant knowing the better covenant is coming through his son Yeshua he's saying this knowledge of the glory is going to cover the earth as the waters cover the sea we are his earth we're his earthen vessels and he lives forevermore in us hallelujah to god be the glory let the glory of god come out in you let him know that you are his vessel and shine jesus shine through every one of us that the knowledge of wherever we are of his glory is taken over totally becomes wherever we are at the people around us know there is somebody called the Lord God the Godhead bodily that's what it says in Ephesians 1 you will have the Godhead bodily within you Father Son and Holy Spirit John 15 says I will dwell with you our dwelling who's our it's the same hour that created us. He said in our image in Genesis 1:26, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost in us, the hope of glory. Let him come forth as a beams of light through you in Jesus' name. Amen and amen.